okay so today we'll discuss about the workflow so first of all if you want to trigger anything automatically or the manually then we have a workflow workflow is the way if you want to trigger anything automatically or the manually or by using the api and the code uh, some of the tasks if uh, like consider this is the task and this task if somebody performs some event like this is the event uh, one event is there like a uh, uh, that user is creating the page that time whatever the task is there this task will perform this task will perform automatically we don't need to be worry about this one okay so what does it mean by the workflow first so workflow it's a series of tasks here you see consider this my this one is our model and inside this model we have some steps this is the steps this is the n number of steps so workflow is a series of step and each step performs some individual task so workflow is a series of step and this one is a individual and it, this individual performs some task okay it may be in the, uh, it may be a one or the more than one yeah and we have some out of the box steps like uh, here you see here we have a participant step participant step and a participant step that means we need a user interactions here here we need a user interaction first of all workflow is a consist of steps and here we have a lot of step maybe two types of step is there first one out of the box ootb and second one is the customized that means you can create the steps okay so how we can create first of all before that we'll see out of the box steps so here first one we have a participant step uh, this participant step that means we need a human interaction here like consider here i have a one model that is workflow model yeah here i have a different second one workflow model yeah and here if i want to call this workflow model inside the another workflow then how we can do that things so for that we have one step that is container step sorry for that we have a container step yeah for calling from one uh, workflow model to another workflow model we have a container step and the participant step that means uh, like here we have a workflow model and in this workflow model if you need a user interaction that means some button if you want to click by the user then you can use this participant step okay after that the third one we have process step one process step is there process step what does it mean by the process step like consider here we have a two types of step first one is out of the box and second one is a customize customize that means our own step that we are creating okay and out of the that means that adobe already provided that means it has some meaning and they have already provided okay so if you want to create the customized steps then we have only one option that is process step by using process step we can create the customized steps so for creating customized step we don't have anything that's why we are using a process step yeah and the process step have their own dialog and inside this dialog if you want to fill the information if you want to add the field then you can easily add it here okay this is the thing and after that here we have the model first of all here you see this one is our model and inside this model we know that we have a step here yeah this is the n number of step considered so what does it mean by the model so model is used for creating the workflow if you want to create the workflow then we have one work, uh, workflow model concept you can use that thing for creating your workflow later that it just simple design or the structure yeah inside it's a collection of the steps this one is our model yeah so this is the thing after that here we have a lot of steps uh, custom step or the out of the box steps you can use it okay like a uh, first one that is a participant step second uh, that is process step third here we have a process step. after that we have discussed container step and at the last we have a decision step decision that means the or and and or we have and we have a and okay what does it mean by the or 
that means see consider you have a two condition okay that means lot of step is there here we also have lot of step and here you have uses the decision step this is considered this one is your decision step and or that means if any one condition is true then these steps will execute like uh, here we consider this this condition is true then it will execute this part it will not execute this part okay if any one condition must be true and in and when we are using the and decision decision step that time both conditions should be true should be satisfied otherwise it will not return the result this is the thing so this one is our decision step and here we have a steps and after that when you define the workflow model we have to call it so how we can call for calling we have a three ways first one that is manually we can call manually so it has provided one gui gui that means it has provided some buttons by using this button we can uh, we can call this workflow model after that the second thing we have a launcher launcher what does it mean by the launcher if you want to trigger some workflow based on some event then you can simply use the launcher then we don't need any human interaction here so for the manually we have to go there and we have to click then this workflow model will work will execute or trigger but in the launcher if we don't need to be go and just click on the button just simply whenever that uh, whenever this task will trigger this a uh, workflow that means some some of the tasks that business logic we have written if that business logic is triggered that time this launcher will automatically this workflow will automatically call for that we have to use this launcher and third one we can use the api and as well as the code code api that means programmatically we can also call our workflow model that means our workflow okay and all this concept this is our entire concept this is nothing but your workflow this is nothing but your workflow like here first of all i'll tell you we have workflow model is used for designing uh, designing or defining the structure for your workflow after that it has uh, it consists of the step like here we have a participant process container and the decision step these are the out of the box if you want to create your customize for that we have a process step by using the process step we can easily create our customize after that we can call our we can call our workflow model by using three ways like here we have van manually uh, for that we have uh, we have to go in our gui and we have to click some buttons by using that we can easily call it later we have a launcher launcher that means you can easily call uh, if you want to trigger some events uh, without any human interaction then you can use a launcher and after that at the last we have a programmatically if you want to trigger your workflow programmatically then you can use this api and the code so they have already provided the api we have to use it so let's go there and just see okay so where we can create the workflow and where it will store so first of all we'll see discuss these things here we have a tools and here we have options of the workflow this is the workflow so uh, if you want to create the workflow like which workflow workflow model if you want to create the workflow model then we have this tool in just go inside this and create the model Yes, taking a lot of time, man. Yeah. Okay. So here you see, if you want to create your workflow, uh, these are the out of the box. Here we have out of the box workflow. If you want to create, we have to click here and create it. Oh, uh, so this is the tool. This one is the first tool. After that, here we have uh, another that is instances. If your workflow models or your workflow is running. if it is running then it will show in your instances tool here yeah, but right now we don't have any any workflow that is running so that's why it will not show anything it will show zero yeah so here uh, there is no item and uh, here after that we have the launcher that means 
uh, here we have the options for triggering the workflow so here we have a launcher you can create all the launcher and out of the box launcher is stored in our this tools this one is our archive archive that what does it mean by this archive so first consider if anything if any successful workflow is executed then it will show inside this archive okay and in case your workflow is fail that work uh, fail workflow will show inside this failure tools this is the thing now uh, we want to create the models so just come in go inside this and simply create here we have options of the create okay name it so i'm just trying to create the version so page version model so this is the name that i have given page version model and just simply done see so somewhere our page version model is created you can just simply click and just open it opening Yeah, so it has created and uh, here here we have the options of the sync and uh, here these are the predefined that means when you create that time this all the step will appear so where it will store so this steps this workflow model will store in two in two folders just come in crxd refresh the page now I'll show you so first of all it will store in your con folder conf here we have a global settings workflow and here we have a model and inside this model our page version model is stored so whatever the model that you are creating in these tools that means if you are creating in this model tool this all the model will store inside your crxd okay crxd conf folder but it's just only for the design purpose these are only for the design purpose but when your model will run your model will execute that time it will store in your var folder here we have var maybe somewhere we have workflow yeah here at the last we have workflow and models and which one we have created page version just uh, try to find out somewhere p this is the model that we have created and here you see at the run time when your workflow will execute that time all your data will store here so how we have created here you see this is the step that we have and this one is the starting starting step and this one is our ending step and this is just only the component so come here and here you see here we have a nodes and inside this node we have a node 0 that means the starting steps open it and here you see the title is start see this one is our start and after that here we have a end step and this one is our node one this is the description of the step one dynamic participant so this one workflow initiator participant chooser uh, this uh, this is the customized step so we have to delete that one so if i try to delete it here you see i have deleted okay but if i'll go there in our crxd try to refresh it node refresh it again it hasn't deleted here you see again we are seeing this node 1 and inside this node 1 we have a data as well so this node 1 we have deleted from there but it hasn't any effect in our crxd so if you want if you want the effect for that we have to sync it we have to sync so 
whenever you are changing something we have to sync it and when you sync all the changes will reflect in your uh, var folder here we have our workflow models and in your customized workflow so there we will get the changes so just try to sync it yeah we have sync and just go there and just try to refresh it now node refresh now we are having only two nodes that is node 0 and the node 1 okay so now i'm just creating workflow and i'm adding out of the box steps i'm just adding a out of the box steps that is create version okay so somewhere we have a create version yeah this is the thing that we have and this one is the out of the box okay we haven't created this one is the out of the box so just simply create it here we have create yeah we don't have anything we just simply need to create it if you want to write the title you can write but this title is good so i just don't want to yeah and simply sync it so when you sync the changes will reflect here yeah so now we got this process that is create version this one is our title that is create version now uh, this is the workflow uh, workflow model that we have created now if we, if i want to call this workflow model then how we can call we already know that we have a three ways so we'll follow first one that is manually so just click here here we have a page information click and here we have options of the start workflow i already told you uh, here uh, they provide one gui and one button we have to click there that means it's a manual payload is nothing but your path where you want to perform this workflow model so this is the model that you have created where you want to perform so we have to select this path so i just want to perform maybe we have to select the content search yeah weekend i'm just selecting a weekend and just just try to select en first and just selecting en and just run it okay so what we have done we have uh, okay we have performed the workflow model to our page okay so now just go try to go there i'm just opening the page local is 4502 I have performed the this workflow on a page so we have to go inside the website on a page and we have to see that uh, model that version they have created or not so for that we have to select this go inside the timeline in a timeline here we have options of the version here you see here we have options of the version so when you are clicking there see here we have created the version that is uh, version 1.0 it will create automatically the version but we have created the workflow successfully that means whatever the workflow model that we have created this workflow model executed successfully see it's showing the new version is created a few seconds ago and we have created okay so this is the thing after that we have another that is launcher by using launcher we can trigger our workflow so for that we have to go tools workflow and here we have options of the launcher go there just go there and after that create here we have the out of the box launcher these are the out of the box we have to create our own so for that create add launcher okay so here uh, they are saying some information here we have a information globally user that means your renditions description event type note type condition and here we have a lot of options so when you create here add launcher so they will ask you for this option here inside this so which event type you want to add like i want to add the modify what does it mean that means here we have a three option if somebody create then you were uh, this launcher will trigger if you select modify then if user modify then it will trigger if you remove if the if some pages it's based on the type when you select the type based on this type if you remove then this event will trigger so i'm just writing here modify what i'm modifying here we have to select the node type so i'm just selecting cq page somewhere we have a cq page yeah this is the cq page is there 
so when somebody try to modify try to modify that is event type try to modify the cq page then this event will trigger but where this event will trigger so for that we have to select the payload path is nothing but the payload okay so select simply come here content and here we have a weekend just save it here i have apply as a all my website so if i create the pages or i just try to modify inside this weekend in child pages till this version will create we have a run mode so i right now i'm in author mode so we have to select the authors only okay let it be about this here we, this is this one is the main which model which for workflow you want to execute which workflow you want to trigger it so now here we have created already that is create version somewhere we have a create version which yeah a page version model this is the workflow that we have created okay so you have to select it and after that click in this activate why they gave this option consider you have created the workflow this launcher and every time you are modifying that time that version is creating sometimes the some cases will come that time we don't need to be modified we don't need to be trigger this workflow so that time uh, don't delete it just deactivate so when will you deactivate this model will not trigger this launcher will not trigger so right now activate So I have activated. Now what I have given here. So first of all, when somebody try to modify the CQ page, okay, if will somebody try to modify the CQ page on this path, this path, this model will trigger. And inside this model, which uh, what are the things we have written? We have written. We have added one step that is version. So it will create the version. Just create it. Okay. So now this workflow. we have created the launcher now this launcher will wait for the uh, it this model that means this launcher wait for an event whenever that event will occur in this page maybe in which page we have to wait it oh here in this timeline we have to con select the content only okay so now it you see in this page some way if i'll try to add if i'll try to modify this if this page if i'll try to modify then this e launcher will trigger so just go there inside the en page and just try to modify something okay so i'm going there come insert insert anything like uh, accordion i just have added the accordion Okay, this is the thing that I have added. Just try to refresh it. Let it be for this now. Okay, so this is the component that I have added. Come here and just try to refresh it. Okay, so here I have added no. So just go inside the timeline. Yeah, here you see. Go in the version, and here you see. Now, new version is created. That is one point one. that means our launcher is also executed successfully that means here we have created we have selected in our launcher we have selected this parent and inside this parent we have us and the en and uh, i just modified this page and when i modify this launcher event is trigger automatically 